what's up guys so um truly did not plan on starting this video um this way and right now um i thought i was gonna be a little more put together i am literally in my nightgown anyways it would appear that um we have a case of oe parasite in our monarch caterpillars perfect uh, where do I start on this? I'm not sure. Do I start with what is OE? OE, or other known as like the Black Death, is a parasite that infects monarch caterpillars and chrysalis and butterflies and eggs and the species, as well as queen butterflies, which is a um, similar looking butterfly to the monarch. Um, yeah, I, I didn't plan on starting this video right now, because uh, what I planned on doing tonight was a little bit more homework to make sure I had the facts correct. Um, but here we are. I've been raising butterflies for quite some time now, but um, just recently I've really started doing homework on um, OE, which is a parasite that affects monarchs because I raise monarchs. I've known that OE is a thing um, because if you've seen my other butterfly videos in the past I have had butterflies that were affected by it when I was living in Florida that was I think almost two years ago now so at that time I had no idea what was going on with my caterpillars I didn't know that 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 happens that this happens um, but yeah, now that I've done a little homework on it, and I'm gonna do some more later, I, let me wrap this up. I, I want to educate you guys today on, um, OE and what it does to the monarch species, and, and how we can help try and prevent it. I bought this microscope the other day on Amazon, um, because I recently figured out a way that you can test butterflies for OE. So I wanted to test all my butterflies when they came out of the chrysalis because I currently have four, five healthy chrysalis, I had eight or nine caterpillars. And so I wanted to make sure before I released them for their migration that I wasn't releasing sick butterflies, which I think I have possibly done in the past. But unfortunately we are at the point where, um, uh, the the caterpillar couldn't form his chrysalis because he he's clearly infected so let's go check that out I came over to do my nightly check-in on these guys oh no there's a caterpillar crawling next to it oh no I came over to note that I need to get them more food for tomorrow because they destroyed this little plant that I put in here um, yeah I came to check on the caterpillar that was hanging in a J and yeah it doesn't look like that J is going too well so it's kind of hard to see through the plastic, of course, but um, as you can see, I don't think he is alive anymore. There's a number of like ways and stages of life that OE can affect the caterpillars, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out right now because I got a lot of other caterpillars in here with him, and he showed no signs of being sick. And, oh no, it looks like a chrysalis is starting to turn blue, like it's gonna be ready to... Oh, there's a lot going on. At first I noticed that he wasn't look... Okay, come on, focus. At first I noticed that he wasn't looking so good. And then I noticed... The black death drops. Uh, if it weren't for those black drops, I might not have... I mean, he looks terrible. I, you yeah, know, I would have thought something was up, but um, yeah, those black dots definitely confirm that it's it's OE. So now I don't know what I'm going to do. There's literally caterpillars crawling right next to it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh god, there's another caterpillar heading right for the black drops. Oh, <laughs> what I still needed to do homework on was um, like I don't know what this means for him right now. If there is a infection going on, or if um, he died before the, the infection could fully thrive. Like, I don't know if that's just like a bombed out cage right now, and anything I touch after touching anything near him is gonna be infected. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but we're gonna try and take him out of there and the paper towel that he dripped on. 
you think you should just put the caterpillars into there? There's a million issues right now, but the main being, I don't know where I should move all those caterpillars to if, if that area is like infected now because about two weeks ago, I found a caterpillar that um, had a mysterious like black dot on its side, which could have been absolutely nothing, but I was concerned may have been OE, so I put him in, in the separate little tank, and he's been in a chrysalis for a couple days now and looks fine and healthy, um, but so I don't want to put the other caterpillars in here because if he is or was infected, uh, the whole area in there could be infected, and if the caterpillars are still safe now, I wouldn't want to put them in there, or vice versa, the caterpillars could be infected, and he could be perfectly fine, and if I put the caterpillars in there with him, then he could get sick. Should you just take the caterpillars and put them in the other big net? I know we hate to set it back up again. I think I just need to clean out best I can, and I mean, I think the damage is done for them. Just leave them in there, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, okay, me again. Um, I just realized another big issue. I haven't been opening this thing all the way because, because um, this guy formed his chrysalis on the zipper. Um, so how am I supposed to open it to get to him? Oh my God. We got so many issues. Oh no, this isn't good. Dude, move. Oh no. Oh boy, okay. No. Oh, ew. Oh, yeah, like that's. getting really close, isn't he? Yeah, that's so gross. Uh, yeah, I think he's, uh, he's no longer with us. Um, I don't think I'm even gonna use the tooth floss method. No, I don't think you um, could have let all that fluid out without dying. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't trying to get him off with dental floss to, like, save him. I was just trying to do it, like, a clean way, but I think I'm just going to, like, yeah. pull him off. Ugh, this is really gross. Oh, this is about to be probably the grossest thing I've ever done. It might just mush in your hand, too. I know, please don't remind me. Oh, ew. Oh, this is so gross. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. Okay, so that's what's remaining hanging. Oh, that's that was really gross. Okay. Yeah, you want to get the rest of it off too, right? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you just, <laughs> just got to make the most educated guesses you can and, and do... Do what you can. Put some fresh paper towels in here. Um, I'm not entirely sure of what else to do. Just keep an eye on them, I guess. Um, other than I know I need to get them more food in the morning. <laughs> Generally clean environment now. Um, I don't know if I should take these healthy chrysalis out of here or what. In this guy <sighs> for tonight I'm just gonna leave them all in the enclosure because it's already getting kind of late I don't know what else to do because I definitely need to do some more homework but from the homework I've already done uh, OE is scary for monarchs all stages of life because I'm, I'm still not sure like which came first the chicken or the egg with it but um, the monarchs can be carrying the parasite at stages from egg to caterpillar to butterfly and, and obviously also chrysalis. Where it comes from, I have no idea. I don't know. Anyways, how we're going to test for it is apparently when the butterflies are... So it must, it must come from the butterflies. When the butterflies are infected by it, they um, can be tested by checking the scales on their stomach. Um, if you use a little bit of scotch tape and put it under a microscope and check if you see just the scales or if you see scales as well as spores, which are the, the parasite, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I don't know how parasites work. But apparently the, the parasite is very, like, 
alkaline or, or very acidic or something and so the neutrality of the caterpillar's body is the perfect harboring home for it but apparently the butterflies can have it and they carry it on their abdomens which then when the females lay eggs that 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 spore i guess gets carried on to the milkweed leaves as well as the egg and when the caterpillar comes out of that egg the first thing it eats is its egg casing uh you see where i'm going with this so it eats the spores and 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 the cycle continues it becomes sick and either can't form its chrysalis or it 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 does okay and forms a chrysalis and comes out as an infected butterfly which brings me to all the questions of the case that we have today and which reiterates why i usually don't bring different caterpillars of different stages of life and put them all in the same enclosure <laughs> the only reason i have these guys right now is because i was collecting up all the caterpillars i could see because it's the end of september already and i've been surprised to even be still seeing them so yeah i've literally just been grabbing every caterpillar that i see but they've all been very very small so i didn't think that the caterpillars could be affected which again brings me to my question because none of the caterpillars have shown any signs of of being infected except for the one that i put in isolation usually the uh stereotypical symptoms of a oe infected caterpillar or they're changing color there's lameness um they're not eating you know they're not moving around much um all, all that stuff none of that was happening with these guys so that makes me very concerned as to did i potentially bring it in on a new food source because the way i feed these guys is i have a bunch of milkweed plants out in my yard and each day i just go grab a couple of leaves and put them in the enclosure so that brings the question to me is did it did i bring it in on a new food source and did he eat that yesterday or today before going into his chrysalis and that's why he was affected and wasn't affected prior or was it on his egg casing when he came out and he's been sick since the day he was born and in that case has he been in there infecting the other caterpillars because another way that they can become infected is if as you could see there was a bit of poop in there they poop like crazy and so if an infected caterpillar is still alive and doing okay and living amongst other caterpillars and pooping amongst other caterpillars sometimes the food and the poop cross paths long story short if a healthy caterpillar were to eat the poop by accident or on purpose i don't know do their thing of an infected caterpillar then that in turn could also infect said healthy caterpillars so yeah i don't know how or where it came from how long it's been with us you know just uh, just got a lot of questions so for tonight we're just gonna leave it as it is i, I took out what I could of the infection. I took out the one caterpillar that was crawling all over the black dot of drippage. Honestly, I'm not sure how long he was hanging like that. A couple hours ago I checked and he was hanging in a healthy looking J. And then when I looked back recently, he looked as you saw him. So I'm not sure how many other caterpillars might have touched him or touched the black drop of whatever. Um... So yeah, I think they're okay for tonight. I definitely need to get them food in the morning, but now I'm very much afraid to because I'm afraid that I might have brought it in on the food source um, because the milkweed outside isn't doing well at all because it's fall now. <laughs> and there's nothing else that the, that the caterpillars will eat because they eat that to make themselves poisonous to predators that's a fun fact about monarchs anyways um yeah don't know what to do at this point from the homework i've done the only way you can like help prevent it is if you have a monarch egg like a caterpillar egg um apparently you can do like a bleach bath on those so that they don't come out and eat the spores do like a 5% bleach to water ratio bath where you dip the egg on the leaf in, in bleach and water 
and apparently that'll kill the spores so that when they come out of the egg they don't eat them and get infected. Unfortunately, we are much past that point. I haven't found an egg in a very long time, so... <laughs> okay, good night for now. We'll update in the morning. So, yes, yeah, so the next morning, <laughs> I'm here to try and get them food. <laughs> Like there's some like green leaves, but they've got like these black and like like bad looking spots. I'm not gonna feed them that. Best bet is like these tiny. This looks clean. These tiny little plants, and a lot of the healthy milkweed plants have aphids. So um. Okay, so it's been a couple of days and um, me and mom were just trying to figure out how to like prop up the camera to try and get this guy emerging on camera. And um, yeah, so in the past couple of days, we've had a few other caterpillars go into successful chrysalis, which is really good. Um, I have kind of just been leaving them alone and giving them more leaves. So, but the, the, f <laughs> the fun part of today is I'm trying to prop up the tripod in the enclosure and I'm like, hmm, where's that? There, I thought there was one other caterpillar that like doing a head that. count. Yeah, yeah. And mom's like, I saw one go under the paper towel earlier, so just be careful where you put the tripod. And then I see a shadow. <laughs> I see a shadow on the paper towel that I, it's like folded. And so I'm like, oh, that must be the caterpillar in there. Like, good, you know, good thing I didn't put the tripod anywhere near there. I'll so, just wiggle him out. <laughs> so I'm like, let me start, you know, ripping this open because I want to, you know, make sure that's him and make sure he's okay. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. What if he's in a J in there? Not only is he in a J, there's another chrysalis in there. And he looks pretty fresh, too. Yeah, like brand new. What the heck? heck? We've never had them do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I guess we're going to leave that now. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm not cleaning the poop out for now. No. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, so little sneaky, little sneaky buddies. It would be funny if it's male and female in there. Oh, and they're they little, having a little date. Little <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyways... We've got this other butterfly coming out very shortly, and we're gonna. Um, He's close for sure. I'm gonna make sure I wash my hands and everything before I touch him, and take him or her out and um, test him for OE. to test these guys for OE I've got this fancy dancy microscope um, it actually plugs into the computer um, when I was looking at like microscopes but to, to, to potentially buy this was the cheapest one and I also realized it's actually the best for our scenario because if I just got a regular microscope how would I show through it <laughs> anyways time to see I don't know if she's still gonna be a little wet if the tapes not gonna like collect anything but we shall find out so yeah um we have to grab her and get put tape on her abdomen and get the scales so this should be interesting to say the least um so i'm gonna have to like i'm gonna have the tape ready Unfortunately, I think I have to grab her like by her wings or his wings, which I would never, oh, I don't want to do that to her or him. I would never encourage, oh, I got a little bit of wing on my hand. Come here. I know. I'm sorry. I rushed you. I know. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. I got you. I got you. Just come here. Come here, silly. Come on. I can't see her. Come here. I gotcha. All right. So, okay. I saw videos where people, like, 
clip the wings back to get so that you don't get tape on their wings. Okay, so I actually, okay, I'm sorry, just let go. I think I'm gonna need you to actually do the taping. Okay. All right, let me see. If she keeps her abdomen exposed enough, I gotta get a new piece because there can't be like fingerprints on it. <laughs> this isn't as easy as I thought. You probably just have to get a little section, right? Yeah, it's just a matter of not getting her wings. Here, you go right here. There you go. Okay, now hold yourself up while I... Oh, stop moving. Come here. This is hard. Come here. Come here. She'd rather climb on you. <laughs> I know. Well, it's hard. I can't grab her and have her climb on me. I only have two hands. Okay. Now I'm gonna... I'm sorry. I just have to grab you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Totally my, my I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's for science. Oh, no. Let go! <laughs> Got it. All right. There you go, honey. Okay. Back in your safe place. Scales from her abdomen. And now we're going to put them under the microscope to see if we see parasitic spores. Do you know what they look like? <laughs> kind of. Okay. Uh, Plug this in, and the beautiful thing about this is you just open the photo booth. Takes a second. Oh, look at that! There she is. <laughs> just takes a second. Okay, so got it up here. Got to zoom out. I think. Oh no. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, that's for another video. <laughs> okay. So now it's hard. I need to put it on a piece of paper, I think. Okay. Oh. Okay, so those are the scales. Oh. There we go. Oh, wow. Whew. wow. Wow. That's crazy. Are you kidding me? Wow. Here it is, here it is. Oh my gosh. Look at all the colors. Are you seeing that, That's Mom? That's beautiful. I guess it's like a rainbow. It's gorgeous. Wow. That's how their wings work to reflect light. So, I don't see anything moving. Would a parasite be moving? No, so what we're looking for would be spores around these scales. And it doesn't look like there are any. It's tricky. Whoa. Oh, wow. How cool is that? So, yeah, those are the scales. And I'm not seeing, unless those no, because those black things are from the black part of its abdomen. I'm going to say, unless those black things. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, so all I see is scales, I think. I think. Let's look up a picture real quick. Wow. They look like rhinestones. Okay, let's see if it'll take a picture. Because I'm, I think... You gotta film this, Ma. I think these are the scales as well, and these are just the black scales. And if we were looking for, I think the OE, you would see different shaped um, things all between these scales here. Let me pull up a quick picture. So yeah, that's what you would see with 
um, like a monarch with OE. Granted, I didn't get that many scales on my sample, but I don't see anything like that. But yeah, see here you would see how oh. clearly we saw even just yeah. one scale, you would see little things the infection. Mm. So this guy checks out! Yay! I can play with him then! <laughs> I just didn't want to put him on my face until I checked him out, you know what I mean? Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap up today's video here because if I don't, it'll just end up getting very long. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this and want to see more, I am going to do a part two where I test the rest of... Dude, I'm sorry, the glass is not doing it for you. I'm going to do a video where I test the rest of the butterflies as they come out. We've got this guy and this guy that are definitely going to be coming out later today. So, I will test them and part two will be up soon. So, yeah, we'll see you then. <laughs> And also, if you guys know anything about OE um, that I didn't mention, there's a lot I didn't mention, but if there's anything you guys know, feel free to leave it in the comments because I like learning about them. <laughs>